let's see, say you wanted to take this up a notch, do something funky, you could transfer that essentially, right, to a laptop or a desktop laptop, do more editing to it, put it back up on TikTok? Or does it always have to go through your phone? No, you can do that if you really want to. Um, I've I've done that before with our videos too. I find it to be um, difficult to keep up with, particularly just, it's just a lot more moving parts. You have to get the video that you often will record from your phone. Although I have recorded a couple on our cam- on my camera, um, but then they're, you know, just bigger file, file sizes. It's not quite as convenient. Uh, you gotta get the footage on your computer. You gotta make it stored somewhere you're gonna find it and know what it is and then you got to put it in premiere pro is what i use for editing on my computer edit it bring it back onto your phone somehow uh so basically upload it online so that your phone can get it then and download it and then upload it to tiktok and then if you have to do anything else on to, on tiktok um that you couldn't do on your phone you have to do all that. It's just it's just like a lot. And then you have to consider how many videos are you putting out there? If it's multiple per day or multiple per week, that's a bit of a process to go through. And, and some of that upload downloading that you have to do takes time. So my, my latest uh, way that I do this, which it has changed over time and it will probably change again, um, but it feels a little bit more streamlined is to just do it all on my phone. Um, I'll use the, uh, what's it called, cinematic. I have an iPhone. I use the cinematic um, option when I'm recording. It looks, I think, better. And I record outside of TikTok. Personally, right now, unless I'm doing a trend or responding to a question or something, I will record that video in cinematic mode. And I will just like record a longer one to five minute, like me talking, like um, reading my script, taking a second, thinking about what I want to say, saying it. If I didn't like it, say it again. I will go into CapCut, chop it up into what I like um, as far as the cuts. So I'm not I'm not actually doing that in TikTok like I showed you. Then I'll put it in another app, um, which is a paid for app called Captions. You can do captions in CapCut. I just like captions. So I use the captions app, add my captions there, edit those captions, download it again, upload it onto TikTok, add music, add a caption. Um, so it's, it's still, for me, it's still a lot of up and down, up and down, but it's very fast uploads and downloads. Um, and it's all on my phone. So I'm not like going, transitioning to the computer and getting distracted with something else, or like, I have to wait 20 minutes for this to upload. It's like, bam, 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 bam. I can knock out a bunch of videos or, or batch different steps in the process.